Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. As always, we're in the Las Vegas warehouse because that's where I'm based at. But in this video, we're gonna be going over a frequently asked question and it's actually one that somebody asked in another YouTube video of mine. So I'm going to uh, go over that in this video. But before that, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. Chris Fisk, he asked, I just got the dual alternator bracket. This thing is nice. It's going to be something like this. This is a dual alternator bracket. Can I hook two different amp alternators together? One, a 270 amp and one is a 400 amp or do I need to keep them separate from each other? So, they're can be a couple of different ways of going about doing this. If you want to have one uh, certain voltage, like say you're running all 12 volt batteries, you can hook both the alternators together to your battery bank and run them all on a 12 volt system if you would like to, that's not a problem. So that's one way of doing it. You could tie your alternators together as far as running two different amperages, like that's okay as well. So say this is a 270 amp alternator by Mechman, you could put this one in your factory location and you could have this as your secondary. This is another beautiful alternator by Mechman. So if you have them hooked together, it's not a problem. They're still gonna be putting out the same um, voltage. They're gonna be running on the same voltage. So say they're set at 14.8, uh, but once your draw exceeds the um, capabilities of this one, it's gonna be putting out all that it can. It's rated at uh, 274 amps. So if it's putting out 274 amps, that's all that it can do. But this one can put out 414 amps so obviously it's going to be able to put out more but it is still the same voltage so it's okay if they're running as a team together you're just going to get more out of this one because it's able to put out 414 where this one's only able to put out 274 if you're somebody there's other people that want to separate their uh, electrical system so they want to have one system that's going to run their truck so say this alternator they're going to have to run their vehicle their uh, windows their air conditioning everything to do the, to run their vehicles maybe some extra lights or whatever and then they want to have a totally separate dedicated alternator which would be this one there for their system or their car audio or whatever their uh, secondary electrical is going to be powering so if you wanted to do that you would just need to have them separated so you need to have a plug going to this one and this one going to your electrical uh, that's running your truck and then you'd have another plug that's going to this one and all this going back to the back where all your supplemental batteries are for your system so that would be the two different ways of separating them obviously to do this you need to have a multiple alternator bracket so we sell a decent amount of them usually multi alternator brackets are only made for really common vehicles like your chevy trucks some fords uh, if you want to check out all the brackets that we offer, you can go to the website or you can click on the link in the description below. It'll take you right to the alternator bracket section. You'll see all the different ones we um, offer, but a ton of them are for GM from dual alternator brackets all the way up to this quad alternator bracket right here. This thing will hold three extra alternators. So you'll be able to have four total, one in the factory location, then one right here, one right here, one right here. So you'll have four alternators on your vehicle. The Tahoe that I have has five alternators on there. So it lets you know once you start moving up in power, you need to have a ton of alternator power to run all that or run all those amplifiers that you're running. So I hope this information has found you well on if you can run alternators together when you would need to separate them if you want to do it that way. Uh, and how you go about getting a, a multiple alternator bracket. If you don't see a multiple alternator bracket for your vehicle on the website, you would have to go to a local machinist to you, uh, to, like this close to you, and tell them what you're trying to do. Sometimes they can fab something up. It's gonna be expensive, but hey, if you got a odd vehicle that doesn't have multiple alternator brackets available for it, sometimes you gotta pay the price to do something like that. Anyway, I hope this information has found you well. If it has, be sure to drop a comment below letting me know that you enjoyed the footage or if you have any questions for me that you would like for me to answer, you can drop that down there below and I'll try to answer it as well. Appreciate you joining me. If you need any alternators or any brackets or anything like that for your car audio build, be sure to check it out on downforsoundshop.com. We'll see you in the next one. Later.